Okay, so this is going to be kind of a silly project, but it's based on Pablo Picasso's silly types of drawings. So the first thing you're going to need to do is decide if you want to do a triangle, a circle, or a square. Now it has to be big, so you're going to do kind of a big circle, big square, big triangle. So let me let me get mine together. I'm going to use try and use a black for this big shape, or you could use pencil too. Um, I'm going to do let's see. Let me do a big, huge triangle. Mine's kind of upside down triangle, but it's triangle. Okay. Walk away. All right, now what you need to do now, once you have your shape, so if you have a square, you have a circle, whatever, what you need to do is turn your paper. Now, grab, you can grab the same color or a different color. I'm going to use a different color so you can see every time I add something. Now, somewhere inside this shape, draw an eye. So eyes, we know, have that little round area inside. And then we have our, our lashes on top. So you could do eyelashes, the bottom. Okay, so that's one way you could do it up. Now, the next thing you need to do, we're gonna turn the paper. Now, that may not be the same direction. It doesn't really matter. So just turn it. So now I'm going to get a different color. Now, anywhere around this triangle, so it can be on the triangle, can be in the triangle, draw a mouth. So I'm going to draw one right here. So with mouths, we have our lower lip, and then we have the top lip, and our top lips have those little, that little triangle section right there. So that's going to be my mouth. Now you could color in your mouth. You could make it funny. You could outline it in black. What do you want to do? Now we're going to do it again. We're going to turn the paper. Grab another color if you want to. You don't have to. And now you're going to draw a nose. Let me see. I'm just going to do a simple nose like this with that little bump that we have around the side of the nose. So this would be like the front part, and then the nose, and then that. So your nose is going to be very different than mine. And that's okay. It's supposed to be. So once again, we're going to turn our paper. I'm going to grab another color. Now this time, since we all have two eyes, you're going to draw another eye. Now it can be the same, or like for example, I'm going to draw this eye looking to the side. So it might look kind of strange. That's okay. You can draw your eye however you want. Okay. And if you need someone to look at, ask someone to sit down for you so that you can see their eye, their nose, their mouth, and you can draw similar to what you're seeing with them. So now something we haven't added is an ear. So let me see if I have another color. I do, I have an orange. So anywhere you want to, let's say I have this on the outside of the triangle, but somewhere where it's attached. So I'm gonna do it right here. So it's kind of an ear, right? And then it has this little hole right there. So like I said, if you need to look at someone so that you can see what an ear looks like, an ear doesn't look like this, but it's pretty close. I know that it's an ear, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, once again, you're going to turn your paper, getting kind of silly here. And if you don't have more colors, that's fine. I'm just, like I said, showing you different colors. So I'm going to do my other ear over here. Oh, dear, this is a weird face. Now, this is the big challenge part. You don't have to turn your paper, but you can't if you want to. Now, figure out what kind of hair you want to do. So I think I'm going to use brown for this. So let's say I'm going to do, here's hair like that. Now I could color that in, or I could just keep making these kind of lines. It's really up to you. Remember, patterns are good. So however you decide to kind of 
fill in your hair. Oops, beep, beep, beep. That's up to you. Now, if you want to, you could do earrings on the ears. You could do, oh, you know, let's put a neck. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do in like a neck right here, but it's kind of off to the side. Okay. So I think I'm done. I think I'm done my abstract Picasso portrait. I hope you had fun. Remember to take a picture, and send it to me because I can't wait to see your version of this project. Good work.